Hello, it's Bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version for a Dell Optiplex 5070, the one you see on the screen. So this is uh, the small one. I know there might be other models. And I have done a video in the past on which I show you how to download the correct drivers and BIOS version, if there is one, for the model that you have. You can click on the top right of this screen for that video. And the file has the name of the model that you have and is an exe, so it's an executable file. Okay. After you have downloaded that file, you have to copy that to a USB flash drive. The one I have here contains the update and the size can be any 2, 4, 8, 16, doesn't make a difference. The only caveat is that your USB flash drive has to be formatted with FAT32. So that would be the only thing. Okay, so after that, you connect it to any available port and I'm going to press the power button. Right away, I go to the keyboard and I start pressing F12 to get access to the boot menu. Once I'm in the boot menu, you can see that on the screen, we can see the hard drive for my, uh, for my operating system, which is Windows. And here we have to go down to BIOS flash update, as you can see over there. And then we press enter. After we press enter, after a few seconds, it's going to show us this. So this gives us an overview about what we have at the moment. System BIOS information, system Optiplex 5070, the revision, the BIOS version is 115. Okay, so I have found a better one and it's in the USB flash drive. So we click on the top right of this screen on the three dots and it's going to show us right away because it's the only one connected, my USB flash drive. So this is the file I was talking about a few seconds ago, Optiplex 5070-126. So that's the new version, 126. We have 115, so this is an update. And as you can see, it's an exe file. After you select that, we are going to go to OK to proceed. And this one is going to take a few seconds, as you can see over here. It took around six, seven seconds. And then it's going to give us this overview. So at the top, we have what we are going to get. You can see there the file name and then the Dell Optiplex 5070, the revision, which is the BIOS update. And this one is what we currently have, 115. So we go to begin flash update and it's going to give us this long message that technically says, hey, while you're upgrading your BIOS, don't interrupt the process on do not turn off the computer, do not disconnect it from the power. Otherwise your computer might be unusable. So keep that in mind, okay? Don't interrupt it. After you have read that, you have to click yes. And this one is going to take a few seconds and your machine is going to reboot by itself, um, desktop or laptop. OK, so after a few seconds, we're going to see this screen updating your firmware. Do not power down your system. So while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. So this process on this model took around six minutes or so. So the video is sped up in this part. You can see the bar going up really quickly. And after it's completed, it's going to show us uh, a message like this one over here. Firmware updates successful, rebooting your system. So the system is going to reboot. And right away, I'm going to start pressing F2 on the keyboard to access the BIOS. This is just to confirm that it has worked. OK, we're going to see the Dell logo over there. And we are going to get into the BIOS right there. So allow me for a second to adjust my camera. You can see the model 5070. And we have to go to system information over here. And on the right is going to show us a lot of information about this machine. As you can see, the BIOS version is now 126, the one we have downloaded from the Dell website. And a lot of info about the machine, as I mentioned before. So it has been successful. When you're ready, you can press escape on the keyboard. So it's going to reboot again. And then it's going to continue to the operating system, whether it is Windows or Linux. In my case, it's Windows, as you can see over here. Now, maybe you want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as you know, I'll see you in the next video.